my favorite verse, the most beautiful scriptures ever written, is when he calls Abraham out to count the stars. He says, come out, Abraham, and count the stars if you can. Your seed shall be like to them, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Well, when you dig into it deeper, you see the sun goes down. Later on in the chapter, like a couple verses down, the sun goes, and then the sun went down. Well, what, it, what that verse means is come out in the daytime. Count the stars if you can. And so when I, I see this and I hear this, it reminds me when I doubt, when I don't see it, when it, when I'm holding true, because really the first thing is you got to know you're with God, right? You, you got to know you're not Esau. Well, the only way to do that is to be true. It's the only way to God. Christ is not underestimating here. He's not saying, I, Jesus, the fleshly man, am the invisible truth. He says, I am the truth, the way, and the life, and there is no other to God but by me. That means the truth. That means before the fleshly man was here, when the fleshly man is gone, and the fleshly man is gone, he's in heaven, and the Father is greater than him. So what he means is the truth. So once I secure that, and, and I find the covenants, the landmarks, well, then it's just a holding on. And the devil's going to try to shake you off. And so while you're holding on, you're still digging and you're learning things, yes. But you, you found the main chunk of the battle, the truth. And, and there are a few that find this. And so when you do, and you, and you can't see it, you, you say your spouse turned against you, say you were thrown in prison falsely, say you're about to be crucified, murdered, castrated, whatever it is you're in, and you know that you're you're true and you're holding to God, you have the more just cause. It's not your battle anymore, it's God's. So really, your, your mission is holding on. So when I hear that, I think about it. I just remind myself, Abraham didn't see it either. He didn't see it either. And it came to be, and it's still coming to be for Abraham. He's still alive. He speaks from heaven. He's real. It's real. God is real. And so I just remind myself, it's too much. And he speaks in, in too deep a way. So just hold on. You can't see it all anyways. Come on, count the stars if you can. I can't. His glory blinds all of it. Exactly. So just hold on.